So on Leland, we have these attributes here for our main ability and lifesaver going to Kazakh Hit. Alongside that, we have Stun Double, What Doesn't Kill You, and Toughness at level 50. And the new ones to this build, one of the newer perks that many people don't use and will be a new perk to them when they see this, is Rally Leader. Helps yourself and all other victims in the lobby recover from being incapacitated more quickly at 50% up to 35% at level 3. This perk seems like a bit of a nuisance, but once you start to understand how it works with other gimmicks, such as utilizing Stun Double and having higher toughness, Stun Double will recover out of Windows scenarios at 30% faster, up to nearly 70% at Windows and... Uh, What's the other one? Wells. And toughness will increase that even faster. So your inca incapacitation recovery time and just influence in those moments are really high. So there'll be moments where you can actually recover really quickly and just move on without dying. That's the best part here. Well, Jumbo is playing as Leland on Family House, the, the hardest map in the game for many players. But we're going to have a bit of fun here and showcase what you can do with this build in action. And it is a good build. It is a very good build. But we enjoy that when you play it anyways. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, I do hope that you kill drop soon as well. Not for your own sake, for my own sanity. Because playing the same content continuously is driving me insane. I need new content. I need to do something. It's been 350 hours. I need something. I'll let them go there. I'm going to get the bone scrap over here, I think. There's one in the corner. I think the guy's getting it already, though. Oh, so it looks like vents you can still surpass, but other locations can't. Like gathering items, you cannot. Guys, standing still like it matters. Let's get it. Let's get it. Going to college work? Uh, that's a while doing college work. KMK, that's amazing. No hard, hard challenge? No way. I ain't doing that again. It's fun, but kind of boring at the same time. Yeah, let's go into one of these areas. Hopefully, the doors are open. Again, well, let's go here too. Am I perma scanned? What, what is this? The cook hear us? Why? Red. Wait, what? I didn't even hear the cook notification when he starts laughing. Did anyone else hear it? Or am I just like not paying attention? I'm scared. Open the doors! Oh my god, we can't hear them. They're gonna turn a voice chat. Don't mind me. Oh, they're partying together. We're dead. Oh, you idiot. What does it kill you? Kill me back up alongside this. Back to 100%. Open the door, Sonny. Open the door. What are you doing? He had no one on him. Well, kind of deserves to die. Poison run off. Run off. There we go. Oh, his door's open. Nice. Heal up. Okay, yeah, not bad, not bad. This is insane. Okay, now I should be balls about this play. I shouldn't even give a crap here. All I need to do is pick up some meds as well, just in case. Now keep going. And with our perk that we have, should help us generally to get out of these moments and survive. Like it's nothing out of, the, out of these situations here. They have no hitchhiker too, so no traps should be available to them. It's over there. Now my only issue is that I'm running base stamina. Base stamina is at 30. So I could actually die because of that. Heal up just in case. Back to full HP. Or close to full HP. Bloodthirsty Lord, uh, Bloodthirsty Lord of the Fallen. Yes, that'll be soon. That's starting uh, tonight. Expect some content very soon. Very, very soon. I have it early. 
I'll be playing it off stream after this and recording some TikToks videos for the next to enjoy. Guys, yeah, destroy this generator right over here. Fast for health stream, maybe not. Okay, Jen's off. Who can use this at any moment? We cannot, so let's leave that behind there. I hope this works. Please. Heal up. All I'm doing is creating options for my team. Because I'm using team perks, so why not stay in the game as long as possible? So pretty much two exits nearly open already. Just because of that window play. The window is so good in this map, it's unbelievable. Like, it's the only way you can actually survive this map sometimes. Especially with a build like this, it becomes easily accessible. Yes. Thank you. Well, that critical door perk. But they'll only be at level one, so I don't think they have the perk active. Basement's open too, so basement, front gate. Or the generator's been off, so the front road. And also now, the car battery. All open. That's three exits in one game. That's insanely good. I hear someone in trouble. I can't even help out. I might try to turn on the pressure valve. Yeah, I'm going to turn on the pressure valve too. Why the hell not? Oh, I forgot about Bowls Gate 3. Yes, you were right. That's another game of the year. That could most likely will be game of the year, actually. If I think about it. Because how, how much of a level of depth the game has. But for me, I think Elias P was extraordinary. Uh, and I still haven't finished the game. That's the best part. I'm the last one remaining. Well, so long for helping my team. Did any of them escape? <laughs> None of them escaped. Oh my god. This is hilarious. What have they realized? I'm actually out. I think they have, they have no clue. I've opened up every area. Pretty much with my team, but they died. So, you know what I mean, though. Oh, shit, she turned it off. Wait, she didn't turn off. She doesn't know. <laughs> what? What? Wait, what? The door wouldn't open. The door wouldn't open. <laughs> I could have left. I wanted to just like, you know, play the actual game. I should have just left. <laughs> the door wouldn't open. I'm like touching the door. I'm like, open, open, open. And just stuck. Well, that was an easy game either way. <laughs> I'll still take it. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> when I saw the door close, I'm like, wait, it's going to bug out. Yeah, it bugged that hell hard. That's unfortunate. That was an easy win either way. I had front generator open. I had the bloody uh, back open. And I nearly had pressure valve open as well. Nearly. And we had basement open too. So I could just basement extract at some point of the game. So I had three chances to extract. I obviously didn't take them just to be there longer. Uh, interesting build. I do think that does showcase it to a certain degree. But you still need to have some other aspects, which is... That you need to actually be incapacitated. 
And incapacitated happens in certain moments. So this build will cover those situations where if a moment like that did occur, you would survive and actually not die while being incapacitated. Because sometimes you have players rotating in the basement as you're above and using Rally Leader to your advantage for yourself or for your team. There's some hidden value there. So you don't know when it's going to help out your team, but there'll be moments when it did help out them in some aspect, but you just don't see it. But with this aspect here, it does affect you as well as an individual. And those moments will be rare, but when they do happen, they'll be very clutch. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So that is our build on Leland, highlighting Rally Leader alongside the rest of the build and how it works the Family House. It's a very good build. You can escape at any time pretty easily too and just win your game. But obviously I overstayed and I died. But that's no issue. That is absolutely no issue. GG, GG's. Mates are new to the channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lordia Game Subs for 10% off and also VTLMerch.com. Show us support. It is greatly appreciated.